Bang, bang. Oh my god! <laughs> this is Silent Slayer. We are going to be slaying vampires today. How freaking cool is that? I was really excited about this. Saw a few early gameplay videos. It's kind of like a puzzle game where you're able to open caskets and then you're able to kill the vampires. I don't know. We're going to check it out together. As always, let's check out the settings here. Toggle grip. Use the grip to press one. I like holding for the grip. Gameplay. Enable pull bar. Adds a blue pull bar to the table. Enable spiders. Oh, we definitely want spiders, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, there's a pass-through mode? What the heck? That is absolutely freaking nuts. We're going to have to check that out later on. I didn't know there was a pass-through mode on that. That's super sick. Got our normal audio options. We've got um, some captions, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and hop into the game here. Enough playing around. Let's see what this is all about. Super stoked on this. Well, oh, the eye move. Did you see that? Hail to you, Slayer. I write this letter to bid you come in haste to this castle known by the vampires as Castle Zar. Fantastic A voice acting. Near, he sounds like he'd be from Transylvania. Zar, the elder vampire and the entire clan of Zar. But on the day before it ends, they are vulnerable Ooh. by your success against got a little bit of hitching there it looks like but that's okay your land i judge you the most capable of slaying clans are before the world falls into darkness nice Arrive at the castle precisely at dawn and i shall teach you how to defeat okay them. so i love the whole premise of how these vampires this is set up for the story those you faced I've dedicated my existence to piercing their defenses. Ignore my guidance, and you so surely. Basically, it looks like we're gonna have a mentor that's gonna teach us like how to kill vampires. Make your and we have to specifically open up all. each of their caskets in a specific way. And that is really pretty cool. I like the idea of that for a game. It's, whoa, look at him! And then 200 years ago. Beheld their prey. Or it says, grab a stake they using the trigger. Up the stake. Oh, it's right to our... Oh, okay, I see then what's going on here. They thrust Ooh. it at the vampire. Uh, okay. We'll go thrust. Whoa! Holy crap, I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. I know not why your predecessor failed to heed my tools. Oh, gosh. Sadly, they were not up to the task. It looks like we got you some movement like Demio be. with this. this. So it looks like we're not going to be moving around a whole lot. Cycle when which is cool, because that means anybody can pretty much play it. My knowledge and tools are essential to our success. Game looks Many great. You can ago, you can zoom in and, and kind of see how nice they the look. Of you know, you can see the the wood grain and all that stuff. Skin, you can see the uh, and leather bound into a book. Pretty neat. To aid the slayer in this cause, environment's cool. It's got a dungeon feel to it. Prove unready. All that will be for naught. Let's get started, then, shall we? We shall. Okay, Erin Radovan. Cistern, sleeps oh, there's multiple the least of the clan vampires. There's a bunch of them, so, I've so nine the different vampires. Him in okay, pages. pretty neat. Refer to them should you have further questions. Okay, so it looks like we got a manual here that we can uh, look at. It says, read the book's guidance by grabbing the edges of the pages. Okay, Bindstone. Binding a vampire starts with Bindstone. Formed by arcane means, they turn the coffin's protection against the inhabitants. Its power flows into one who fuses it together. To assemble, take the piece of, and line them up with each other. They, they fuse on their own once placed correctly. This particular Bindstone will resemble a triangle on two sides, but each has a unique shape. Okay... I'm glad we can bring it 
closer to each other because it kind of felt odd having to reach out there. So that's good. You can't simply march over and stake him. Got some physics going on. Unfortunately, the ritual. Love that you can hear the metal clanking. That's him, sick. And only a bind stone will let you pierce it. The stones okay. on the table are bind stone fragments. Take the pieces in hand, line them up to complete the shape, oh boy. and then release to fuse them together. Echo here? When it's complete, an oh, geez, what the heck? shall appear. Study it. All will be clear soon. All will be clear soon, huh? I don't know about all that, but we can... Uh... We can oh, try. And don't worry about running into the previous Slayer. The Slayer's mantle makes it impossible for your kind to turn into vampires. Our kind. Her skin, though. That may have wound up as a parchment somewhere. All right, so that's pretty cool. We got a little bit of a... Like, 3D puzzle Along solving thing going traps, on, which is super sick. I dig that. Czar alter their bodies. What? Look at that. Heart Dude, that looks the great. To hide their weak point. The elder has even grown redundant hearts for defense. Okay. When a slayer assembles a bind stone, they're infused with its power. We're infused with Therefore, power now. Operation is finished. Now to the cistern. Let's go. The castle is secured by magic, but this table holds my octant, a device which can get us there safely. Nice. So we're going to teleport. Keep still for the transport. Three, two. Zim zim alabim. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> that was cool. Oh, man. Take a moment to reorient yourself from the transport. Okay, grab the pull bar and drag Before to adjust you your position. Sleeps, okay. Baron Radovan. We can, can we turn ourselves? seated in one of the castle's nine thrones. Okay. Begin so this feels a little awkward because you really... Remove the two crossbars. Holding it shut. Not seeing how you can actually like reposition yourself here. You grab the metal. Okay. Well, let's see. What it, it really, really feels odd. Like we need a turning mechanic here. This feels super awkward. I'm not gonna lie to you because you have to. You have to kind of like look over your shoulder to really like see this. It's kind of kind of odd. And and if you use the meta. Like realign, I guess it kind of lines you back in. But I would really, really like to see a turning mechanic, or kind of like Demio, where I can like spin myself with my arms, because that is feels super awkward. Okay, grab the metal crossbar and use grip and trigger. Beware, Radovan will wait. Oh yeah, I bet. Move them slowly. Oh geez, so he already quietly. woke up. No. Grasp the coffin lid from your right side and pull it open. Nice and slow. Oh, there he is. Good. Now for Hold. the binding and slaying. These vampires can move their hearts for protection, and so you must locate them before staking. Look to the table. This relic heart serves as a detector. That is Pick really it cool. Bring it close to Radovan's It's got like chest a... And see how it responds. Got like a perimeter. His heart is beneath where it beats strongest. Squeeze it and it will mark the space for you. Is he gonna wake up? Oh my gosh, is he gonna wake up? Okay. Okay, I think it's I, I think it's right there. I think it's right there. We'll find out in a second. See that shimmering magic towards the top of the coffin. Yes, I do. That is the barrier weakening. Okay. Thrust the stake into the weak spot. 
right here. Slash quickly through each segment. Follow the arrows. Done well, the pattern resolves into a blood. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, we didn't do it fast enough. What? That's just insane. What the heck? Failure. Oh man. A teacher even wiser than myself. Dang. Radovan awoke due to your inadequate execution. Okay. Do we get the to try again? Base is the attack is only a primal reflex. So we have the to really go fast with some of this. Unaware and instinct soon subsides. It cost us time, though. Time that eventually runs Ooh, out. Ooh, scary. We must return. Ready yourself for trouble. Let's go. I love how it's got, like, hieroglyphs or, you know, stuff, whatever you want to call it, symbols to transport you. It's really sick. It just looks cool in the headset, for sure. Okay, let's go. So you could totally, like, feel... You could totally feel, like, the tension in your controllers with the with the vibration and this game has a lot more going on than i think people think it does look simple and easy to play but it is definitely not like everything has to be done precisely and calm and quietly it's it's really a great idea yes that should be close enough Okay. Let's go. We have to we have to do this quick. Oh, I thought I was doing it. Stay in the lock. Oh man. Dang. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Also, like when you grab the dagger, it kinda like feels offset. It's kinda weird. Noise is death here. Learn we are just getting this. wrecked by this first vampire. This is insane. Must return. Ready yourself for transport. I'd like to see maybe like a... Like a... Just a continue from right where you are and still let, instead of having to go through this whole transport thing again. It's kind of kind of awkward. I don't know. A lot of people don't want to sit through that. It's cool though. Oh. God, that's not good. Ooh, nails on a chalkboard. Nails on a chalkboard. Yes, teach me your ways. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna try again. Hello. Yes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try this one more again. Be very quiet. We're getting better at it. He is at your mercy. Should we do it? Should we get him? Strike him to his <laughs> yes! Take that, vampire! Bye-bye! See you later! Bye! Wow. <laughs> That's really cool looking. On your first victory. Okay, what's this? Is your confidence bolstered? Insert the clang crystal the into the device. Be so unprepared. See what is this? Triangle. Okay. Teleporting us back. Interesting. Very interesting. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. It's it, the graphics look good. The voice acting is fantastic. It makes you feel like you're in a like dark and dirty dungeon. You know, it's, it's really cool. How like the coffins are uh, obviously going to be each a different puzzle. Um, I really like the mechanics. It does the feel key, good. I can the only the, you further up the only thing I'm not liking but so first, far is this whole movement system here. You want we need smooth turning on this uh, to be able so to look over here if we want to orientate 
or you know our Bounce ways around Kalina it's kind of weird next. the way it is just She's moving along this rail i don't know it feels awkward especially if you're sitting down business naturally they specialize in human cargo you'll find kalida is far sharper you can totally put these together while you're if you do slip up do not risk another mistake oh, until some time passes. Two at once spells oh, disaster. This, is nuts. this might be some of the hardest parts right here, putting together the... No? Is that... No? That's, that doesn't go. What is this? Does this go? Yeah. No? That doesn't match. That doesn't match. Well, this. You match... Nope, sure don't. Let's see what other pieces we got here. Yeah, putting this together is a little uh, challenge all alone. It's pretty cool though. I like that. Yo, I want to at least see this next vampire. Show you all exactly what it looks like. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Well, we are all off here, aren't we? Because there's so many different sides to it. Definitely adds a whole nother layer to it for sure. All right, so let's go ahead. Yeah, it's because it's four pieces. It's crazy. I go there, maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. This can go. Well, no, did I lie? Yep, it goes there. Let's see what you got here. Got to be something like this. See, maybe it's this one. Yep, there we go. It's just cool because it's all three dimensional here. Ooh, and the best part is is each one of these is is different. It even looks different. It's cool. That yep, there we go. And you are right there. Okay. Very nice. Good. The bindstone shows the symbols to counter Kalida's barrier. Okay. But coffins like hers also require special tools to open Oh safely. gosh, we're going to be getting into all kinds of stuff now. The first tool you will need a pry bar. is this pry bar. Ooh, look Attach at that. Attach it to the head of a nail and push slowly Pop it out. until the nail bends out. Oh man, this is going to be nuts. Then pluck out the nail with your other hand and place it on the table. So it looks like each coffin you get to, to gets fall. harder and harder, which is really neat. Now this is Radovan's clan symbol. Mm -hmm. With it as a key, my octant can take us to the next coffin in line. Each symbol brings us closer to the core of the, of the ritual. In this case, we go to the crypt. Kalida's assigned throne. Interesting. Put Radovan's symbol in, and we shall go. All right, very cool. So we definitely are going to have all kinds of different tools to use, and I guarantee, obviously, the the as we go up the scale of coffins here, each one's going to get harder and harder, and we're going to have to use every single tool we have probably for the last one. It's going to be wild. Okay. Many coffins. So let's to see here in the crypt. Let's but take it nice and slow. I love the sound effects on this. This is great. Keep silent. That is so crazy. Makes you lose your breath. Oh. And you have to keep your head so still. Oh. Noisy. Oh god. This is nuts. Oh man. It makes you sweat. Quiet. Oh man. This is crazy. I feel like I'm sweating because you gotta be so precise. Oh gosh, do we have to use Okay. 
socket the pry bar to a nail. Oh gosh. This, now this feels a little awkward. I don't even know if I've got the right nails here. I think I do. Yeah, this has got to be the only nails. Feels like it's off just a tiny bit. Like, I feel like the offset on some of this is crazy. Yeah, like, I see, see how I'm holding it, and it's all, like, crooked? It's weird. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that, for sure. Bang, bang. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. This game is definitely pretty wild, that's for sure. There's no doubt about it. But it definitely feels like this... Your your tools are maybe off a little bit, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. I think we need some updates before I continue playing this game a little bit. It is a really, really cool idea. I love the graphics. Love the voice acting. I love that you have different tools to use. I love how each vampire is different to try to get into their casket i love the story that it has going with it and the progression of it each casket getting harder and harder is really really cool as well um some things that i definitely want to change like i was saying earlier i think we need an offset option so you know it just feels so awkward in your hand like i feel like i'm kind of like twisting my wrist to really get this straight and you know how my controller standing it, it it's not off too bad but it just feels odd so we need some offset options there for sure especially when you go to start prying it doesn't feel like you go flat against it and it, you know you're able to pop it uh, but there is some great physics here with it i do like that i love all the sound effects that it has um, i would like to see some movement changes here it feels like it's a demio movement with this and you're only allowed to use this rail basically to move around which is fine not a big deal but we either need to move uh, you know, put some options for smooth turning and snap turning um, or make it so we can twist this way like demio has it not just left to right basically uh because you know if you're standing it's fine it's not that big of a deal but if you're sitting down it feels a little awkward unless you're actually in a swivel chair like this or with people trying to record and show the game and things like that you know it's it's kind of awkward but other than that really great game silent slayer definitely really really cool if you're into vampires I recommend it. I want to see where this game goes with a few updates before I hop back in because, um, it, like I said, some of the stuff does feel awkward, but really, really cool game that I think is going to involve into something really, really amazing here. And it's it's a great idea, and uh, it, you definitely get jump scares out of it already, too. So um, I'm looking forward to being jump scared by all the vampires at least once. So that's really cool and totally worth it just for that so as always if you like what you saw make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell check out all the links down in the description below and we'll see you on the next video